It's the R. <laughs> Peace, it's Brother Polite. Cool, As you can now. clearly see, it's Eat Boy. We in, we in, we live in Brooklyn. Yeah. I miss you so. So yesterday, you know, we was all in Brownsville. Yeah. Yo, shout out to the homies, 8 Deuce Trade, GS9. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Trade, Y'all know trade, what it is. 8 Deuce Trade. Had a hell of a holiday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now we in the bush. Talk to talk to the Zos. Yo, I caught you already. Yeah, I know, I know, I see it all day, every day. Here we go, no, there we go. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, loving it, loving it, loving it. And here's my lovely wife, Riet. And <laughs> so she found her father. But let me tell you, she was coming to class, right? And the thing was, these brothers was trying to holler at her the whole time, not knowing that's her cousin. Nah, let me stop. <laughs> not knowing that's their cousin. But this is to show you, you shouldn't just talk to anybody. Because the way black people be moving, that might be your damn that's sister. That's why I be shook about any Haitians I come across. Like, real talk. You feel me? I don't no, know how and mind you, we didn't even know she was Haitian. Yeah. That's our defense. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> he, crazy. he just he, he added life to this shit. This is about to get ugly. But but the crazy thing is, right? We was having these Brooklyn classes, and these brothers joined New Covenant. You know, salute, tadu to everybody out there for New Covenant family. This is how we joined New Covenant. My brother is the first person to become conscious out the whole family, right? And in his journey of becoming conscious, he was walking one day. And I just happened to see a brother polite flyer. On I floor. think it was about the um, solar <clears throat> numerology. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow, I remember so that I era. Seen that, know what I'm saying, and I'm like, oh, and I was on my um, astrology joint at that. Real and hard. It just, that's it just, how he got me I to just come. had to go to that class. Man, when it was and like you seven. saw the fly on the floor. Yeah. On the floor. What intrigued me was like seven <laughs> different languages over some some books. I was like, oh, I got it. Brother meet polite. <laughs> what intrigued me was the four wives. Yeah. On the fly, I'm like, I gotta meet this. Dude. I'm playing. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. It's probably true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I went to the class and started learning from him, and it was just. Oh, from there. She wrote from there. Yeah, and then watch History. this. So I started doing them classes in Brooklyn, and those was it was straight lit. The community coming out. So you know, naturally, all my wives is coming there, helping prepare the food, helping sell the books, talk to the people, assist the people when class is over and during the course of class. Not knowing while we in class, she and them are related. <laughs> this going on every day in class. You know, now how did y'all establish that connection at so, first? So I was yeah. taking pictures and I was posting it on Facebook. My mom saw a picture of me with them two and she's like, oh, that's, those, are, those are your cousins. <laughs> Just like that. I'm like, what? Just that easy. You see yeah. black people. Yeah, now, okay. now you see, now, now we got to call black people on this shit. With all respect to your moms and your family, even my family. Black people would be fucking us up in this generation. She could even call. She's like, oh, those your cousins. So now she calls, she calls me Make out sure the get blue, your right? Dot com on, okay? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That shit goes wrong. Out she here. calls me out the blue, like, yeah, do you know a guy named Andre Durant? Mind you, I'm we like, get twelve Durant. missed calls from Raet. Yeah, and it's like. 10 in the morning by the time we wake up, we, yeah. some, we, we had a party for my yeah. man. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, aggressive as hell when, yeah. She on, yeah. when she gets some clues <laughs> and she thinks she owes us something. So we, we think it's something is up. Like, yo, what's going on? I'm like, yo, Ryan called me 12 times. He went like, yo, hold up. He looked at his phone. He's like, yo, she called me 12 times too. So we, I pick up the call. I'm like, yo, Ryan, what's up? He was like, do you know a guy named Andre Duran? I'm like, Andre Duran, Duran. What stuck out to my um, mind was Duran because I have an uncle that I used to call Uncle Duran. But I never knew his name was Andre. But I was like, yeah, I have an uncle named Duran. And, and, and that's like, your father's brother. Yeah, that's, she was like, that's my father. I was like, your father? He was like, yeah, this, that, and the third. And explain the story of how her mother, you know what I'm saying, told her. And it was like, wow. We called my grandma, my, my, my aunt, grandmother confirmed it. My yeah, she was like, yeah, that's my little brother. I was like, oh. My aunt confirmed that she knew them when it was all three. We in Flatbush. Yeah. yeah. Y'all came by the house when y'all was really young. Yes, yeah. yes. I you remember. Yeah, <laughs> you feel me? And wow, it, it, is there a picture of that? Cause I think there's a. Cause my I'm cousin keep, mom. yeah, my cousin keep talking. Cause um, every time I went and told my family, like, yo, we ran into um, uncle's um, Duran's daughter, or whatever the case is. <laughs> they was like, yeah, I remember them. All the girls, all the girls, they got used to play with them all the time. I was, and it was like, there's some pictures of it. Like, where the pictures at? You feel me? I was looking for the pictures so I could show you your father. Cause you said you never seen them, but they had no <laughs> pictures of Uncle Duran, no pictures of us. It was like. That's why I document everything with me and my daughter right now. Just to make yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. And we in a beautiful era with the social media, yeah. where a lot of stuff is easier. Real tough. You know, we don't have to worry about <laughs> a, a picture pop. And in fact, it was social media wide. Real tough. Yeah. Y'all was able to see that because the mom yes. saw it, what you posted. Wow. And now, so now we fast forward. Okay, so we know they related, and we know we getting closer to seeing her father, but not as yet. Yeah. Now, mind you, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you my story and how I met my moms, and then we're gonna segue into now her being able to meet her pops because life is wild. The story they told me gave me chills. Yeah. And then we was like, yo, you, you gotta say really and truly that black people are, there's a resonant frequency that yeah. connects us together. And we talked about this actually yesterday when I was talking about the heart and the magnetism and yeah. the fact that the, uh, the heart is made up of over 40,000 neurons mm -hmm. and thousands of times more magnetic and electric than the brain and mm -hmm. it being connected to the brain by the vagus nervous system and the Egyptians called the heart ibn it means yeah. intellect or mind all that is important because your heart is your conscious seat and it dictates to the brain how to handle your mental faculties the reason why that's important is because the heart also pumps iron right yeah. and anytime and iron goes through a circumambulation via this blood circulation right and anytime metals go through a circle it creates magnetism Right? So just like the core of the planet Earth has this metal in it, the iron in it, and it causes the magnetosphere, your heart creates your magnetism. And your heart is the seat of consciousness. So your consciousness precipitates magnetism. So what you think about impels people or compels things to you. So either it makes you turn left or it makes you turn right when you was going to go left, but for some reason you chose to go right. The way you think causes your heart to produce a magnetism that's associated to that process wow. of thought. So in other words, if I see myself as a, success, as a success in something in particular and I can't shake it, I just see me doing that in the future, then that's going to happen. And people who are connected to that situation or can be connected to it, they're going to be impelled towards me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Other people not part of it are going to be repelled. Yeah. And then, then places I'm going to wind up going that I didn't plan to go because it's necessary. Or I'm going to meet somebody who I wasn't really supposed to meet per se immediately, but they came into my life just to drop someone else off. Mm -hmm. Then they fade to black, and next thing you know, the person they introduced mm -hmm. me to plays a pivotal role and yeah. what it is I'm looking to do. So when you calculate all that, you take all those things into consideration, all of this is no coincidence, but it's, we know magic actually exists in the form of our consciousness by way of our heart. Mm. Facts. So now I'm walking down the block in the hood. I'm in, in the 90s. You know, I'm walking down 95th and Rutland Road. I, I was living on Rockaway Parkway between Winthrop and Rutland, 163 Rockaway Parkway, corner house. You know what I'm saying? So I'm walking down 95th and Rutland, just came from Tony's Pizza, got me a baby pie and everything, straight off the Southern Avenue, Rutland Road train station. I'm walking down, but I'm giving specific details. I'm, I'm in the 90s, you feel me? So, so now I'm walking down the block and I see a brother and he comes to me like, yo, mind you, I got my bandana on, teardrop, my, I'm, I'm, I'm on some other stuff. You wouldn't even be able to recognize me. Most of y'all wouldn't be able to recognize me. That's a fact. And I looked older then than I look, than I look now. Because, you know, the meat was playing the yeah, toll and shit on me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was at the chicken spot all day with them Philly cheesesteaks, the 21-piece chicken. You know what I'm saying? I was eating that every day. Or oh, before the club, I get a chicken spot. Then I risk my life in a, in a basement bash on 94 for Rutland. You know what I'm saying? I was doing that forever. So what happened? Yo, it's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Once they play, everyone falls in love sometimes. You try to run behind somebody. You know what I'm saying? So that shit, it, was, it was just great. Dangerous and fun. It'd be like... 50 niggas to every eight women, you know what I'm saying? I like that. I wonder why everybody was looking tight in there. Yeah. But um, so I'm walking down the block. This guy come out and he like, yo, you Michael No? And I'm like, yo, what kind of fish market shit is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm like, yo, this, this dude's a Jake or something. Like coming up, pulling up on me, telling me my full name. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm about to. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't booking me, nigga. I'm supposed to go out of town that day, so I was looking to go OT. And so what happened is he says, yo. You look just like my sister. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, this guy, I don't know who your sister is. So he says, look, I know your mother. And I'm like, you just know my mother just by knowing me walking up and down this block. And he just started staring at me. He was like, yo, you're Michael. Your name is Michael, right? What's your name? So I was like, he said, he done said the full name. I was about to say Jamel Jenkins, nigga, right? I was about to say something else and keep going. But I said, yeah, yeah, that's my name. But you know, you could be guessing and shit. And he was like, look. I could, you, you don't know your mother, you ain't been around your mother, I could take you to your mother, I'm her brother. And I said, man, this dude is BSing. I gave it a few days, I thought about it, he told me where he lived and everything, I checked him out. Long story short, because it's about them, I wound up meeting my moms. And, I, and luckily for me, because when I met my moms, I had seven days with her exactly, and she died the week that I met her. So, from cancer. But had I not walked down the block, and I was leaving to go out of town that day, he just moved into the neighborhood, he was walking down the block, I'm walking down the block. And I was about to tell him the wrong name anyway, because I was mad suspicious. I would have never met my mother. So now, you know what I'm saying? 
you could break down what you just said just recently happened. Shit. Well, I'm, me and my brother gonna go back and forth. Yeah. Pause. And this is Socrates. Pause. <laughs> yeah. right? I, I was about to do it on your behalf. Pause. So this is Socrates. This is I'm Socrates. Socrates, and this is E Boy. E Boy. Energy based on intelligence. Energy based on intelligence. Yeah. Everything else is irrelevant. You already know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, one beautiful morning, I'm driving in my Infinity. I'm driving and pushing. Um, my phone is ringing. And my grandmother's calling, and then everybody knows sometimes you don't really want to speak to your grandparents because they love to talk, especially about yeah. church and stuff like yeah. that. So, yeah. Anyway. Real talk. Hopefully they don't got peace. <laughs> <laughs> if they do, Grandma, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, so I picked up. I'm like, yo, you know what? Let me talk to my grandma. I'm happy. I'm in a happy mood. And then so I picked up, and then next you know, my grandma's in a happy mood, and she's asking me, like, where am I? I'm telling her I'm on the road, but I'm trying to not give her no details, so she won't tell me to come and do a favor for her. But she tells me, yo, come because my uncle is here. But she's like, yo, my pops here. I'm like, my pops? He came from Florida? She's like, no, I mean, your uncle here. I'm like, your uncle? She's like, yeah, Durant. I'm like, Durant? And I'm thinking, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. So I quickly run over there. And I see my uncle standing right there. So I take a picture of him and I send it to my brother. And then my brother going crazy. I send it to my 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 my, my pops and I also send it to my cousin. But that's not the hazard, cause Here's now the hazard though. Yeah. I, I I go over there. How, yeah. But you gotta explain how she. Came yeah. Of course. No, yeah, yeah. This is so how this, I found this, out. This so is, I this go. What about to explain right I now. go over there and cause now I want to know where you been. Know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Where, like 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 like. Where, <laughs> why haven't you reached out to us? Like what's going on here? So now he starts telling me like, yo, his house burnt down in Florida. Cause that's the last place I remember seeing him in Florida. Wow. He said his house burnt down in Florida. He lost. All his contact this is, information, right? This is, let, let me put some context. This is in the 90s when we first, last saw him. Yeah, in like 1999 was when, the last time we saw him, right? So now he said he his house burnt down. He lost all his contact information, so he just... Thousand times <laughs> if I that, pick up. That's how Imani is too, my daughter? <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, for the most part, he said he lost all his contact, so he ended up going to um, Haiti, right? So he ended up going to Haiti, getting remarried and so forth like that. So him getting remarried... His wife is like he want to. She want to be introduced to his family, and he's like, "Well, the, my family's all in New York, and the only place I remember in New York is Flatbush and Church Avenue, right?" Now, see, that's all he remembers in New York is Flatbush and Church Avenue. That's a pretty so, popular. So, spot. real talk, real talk. You, so he, he, my, 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 my uncle's heading over there from Florida, and my grandma is going to meet her church sisters, and she misses her stop because she's on her phone, so right? She, so she ends up getting off. Flatbush and Church Avenue anyways. He gets off on Flatbush and Church Avenue because her that's phone, the phone. Oh yeah, her phone dies. Yeah, her phone dies. He gets off on Church <laughs> Avenue, right? Because that's the only place he remember. <laughs> Real talk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Now so now boom. Long story short. My grandmother and my um, um, uncle, they see each other, but they don't recognize each other because they're in their old ages. And my, so now, my grandma walks up to him trying to ask him, can she borrow her fo his phone? So she, she can, can make, a phone. make a phone because her phone died. So now, boom, she, she used the phone. And after she used the phone, my uncle ended up asking her like, yo, um, do you know of anybody that's renting a room so I could have a place to stay for the night or whatever the case is? So my grandmother goes to take his number and asks him for his name. So she he tells my grandmother his name. My grandmother looks at him with tears in her eyes like, you don't remember me? Like, and then once she said, you don't remember me. He remembers her voice. And then the uh, like he remembers her when she was young. Like Man. it just came to his like vision right then and there. And then yeah. they both hugged. And they both hugged, started crying, you feel me? And that's how we reunited. That's it. And we had to call you and let you know that, you feel me? That's a fact. Yeah. Hey, King up? Simon was calling me on Instagram. <laughs> King Simon <laughs> thing. Like, King Simon you. starting to get so slick. And he's, he's starting to become computer savvy now, so he want to call me on Instagram while I'm on Facebook. <laughs> Yo, King Simon. Knock it off, King Simon. You think he, hey, he ain't no young now. You think an Instagram call. Oh, you probably calls. know how to do it, huh? You probably know how to do it. Look at that. You miss a video call on Instagram for King Simon. King Simon think he young and slick. <laughs> You're in Brooklyn, so we know we merely rock. <laughs> this information, this vibe is crazy. I love it. The Brooklyn flat, which laugh be killing. Wow, great story. That's real talk. Yeah, man, that's that's. Israelites Sarah waking up. We'll, we'll just we'll let you get away with that right now. <laughs> Israelites waking up. Uh -huh. <laughs>
He said Israelites break into the wild. <laughs> we'll let you get away. Be taking you be, shots, you be, you be, I know, we know you mean well. <laughs> yeah, he said I got mad chills and teary eyes. Imagine how up. we felt. Imagine yeah. how we still feel to this moment right now. So right now, that puts right in, in great position. Yo, I went through position. so many different emotions when I seen the, when you sent me the picture. Yeah. I Man. was like, somehow I just knew like that's my dad. Man, you know, so it's crazy. that's a crazy vibe. That's a, go ahead and cry on this camera. Go ahead, we <laughs> waiting. Go ahead, we are gonna catch at least. Let's catch the left eye. Let's catch that left eye. Go ahead and cry, girl. It's great media. Yeah, like, great like, great emotion. I was sending you texts like back and forth. Listen, you like, hit. Like, <laughs> Yo, she, <laughs> she was texting me. Cause mind you, I didn't really believe what was going on because of just the the, the magic that was happening, right? It was like, nah, this I'm is like, like movie like. And then so she definitely did, cause she's all the way in a, on the other coast. I'm in New York and she's in Cali at the moment. That's so right. Like she's and then and this. then he done went to Haiti and, and he everything. Went to Haiti, yeah, I mean, Florida. Now he's in Florida. And he's back in Florida, so it's like, and I'm like, yo, you know, you got a oh, daughter right, out so here, right? It. So that same day, I called my mother, and my mother was like, you know, out of the blue, he was on her mind. And then she was like, she wished she had a chance to just like tell him everything that she wanted to tell him before, but she couldn't. Uh oh. Because the way it, this the stuff happened is, you know, my step, my father he came home and he, he was just gone. So, That's his perspective. Yeah. Yeah, you know how that That's shit goes. Yeah. There's two I, I can give you some foresight on what's gonna happen. <laughs> everybody gonna have a different story, yeah. and 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 everybody gonna remember new facts now that the child is an adult. <laughs> I can tell you that right now, because I'm I'm still trying to untangle some of the weird shit I've been told, and you never will. All you're gonna know is the one thing that's common with everybody. Cause everybody always got. Look at this girl, still fucking part of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're close. Well, all right. Got you. Got you. I'm in that ass. <laughs> don't catch she me. been going to every store she could go to. Listen, in the middle of us be out here. She done hit here. every store on this block while we were talking. I'm never gonna lie to you. But this was seven. She got her eyebrows done in the middle of this. Eyebrows done. What the hell? <laughs> and she saying hi. Oh, only in Brooklyn, dude. Yo, if you notice the camera, you'll notice her zipping in the background, back and forth. <laughs> you gotta play that shit slow. Yeah. You see somebody rolling and tucking on the floor, that's her. That's her getting away with murder just to go to different stores. <laughs> Look at that elevated that's train in the background. Man, that's dope. That was serendipity. I mean, all over Brooklyn. Y'all told y'all y'all wanna party with me. Pull up. We out here. I'm going just just like, inbox me or DM me your full name, phone number, and a picture so, of yourself. Yeah. And oh, your mom, we'll ID you and you can pull up and party. I'm partying with celebrities left and right. I'm going to be all over. We I mean, celebrate my life too. Don't just be thinking it's some other stuff. We out here to celebrate. I promised my people I was going to bring my, my birthday celebration from the West to the East. So I already turned up in the West. You know how I do pull up, nothing beautiful women do my thing while well, I'm out here today in Brooklyn. Been out here yesterday, getting it in. Just inbox me, whatever. Do what you gotta do, but put your full name, your phone number. I mean, if you wanna pull up anywhere between New Jersey, New York, because I'm partying all these places New Jersey, New York, where else I'm gonna be at? Those are two main places right now. I had a longer list, but we already started turning up. Yeah, man. But I love Brooklyn, man. <laughs> love Brooklyn. But yeah, it's just dope, man. My wife, my wife, me and her father on the strength of some brothers who came to my classes because they saw a flyer on the floor. And since then, they've been joining me. They joined the community that I erected. And they've been coming to classes devout all the time. Always stayed in touch. They still members, still progressing in the community, making their money and everything. <clears throat> in fact, they just made some bread. Just gave me a lot of love and hugs for what's been going on with their situation. And I'm just proud of those brothers, man. I'm proud of them for perpetuating the teachings. You know, I mentor them, of course. And uh, I, I'm just thankful. I'm thankful, man. But I miss being here. So I'm in the bush. You know, we did Brownsville yesterday. We're going to do Brownsville again. That's where I'm from. Brownsville in the 90s. So, you know, we got to do that. But yeah. I had to make the stop in the bush and make it work. Where we at? 15th Street. Now I need to pull up. You know, 15th Street and Kings Highway. Pull up. 
Anybody that's a supporter showing that love, y'all know what it is. Man, miss Brooklyn, man. Miss them fruits and vegetable stands and all of that. Woo! Beautiful thing. <laughs> Thanks, family. Thanks for the belated birthday salutes. With my baby mom and her parents. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I so, love so, so that's that's what it is. I think it's just my love. That's it. In order for me to get my daughter, I have to go through my baby moms and her parents. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, I said that's that that's how I get my daughter. I can't do that, I'm sorry. Rough. I'm real too. That's how I have as often as I want to teach her Creole and just Man, you see what I'm saying? I got y'all to speak. That's real talk, man. Get it in. School me too. In the process. I'm picking it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm picking it up. Let's around create the first Creole American app. You know what I'm saying? If you want to learn Creole, because they only have French. Every every app. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, I don't be seeing the Creole. I got the app link up. Yeah, I never know. Yeah, she knows. She's Yes. Oh wow. I mean, I probably was just probably didn't want you guys to that side know. of the history. She probably was hurting, you know. Yeah. You know what? That's because my father was like, "Wow." Because some, you got some, um, some Caribbean people that come out here and don't want to speak their language at all because they don't want to be ostracized and they don't want their kids to be ostracized. Because Man, you know when you that's wild. I swear to God, huh? I got my cousins like, on our, this our cousins. Yeah, I know, right? You got to start sharing them. Who's the Andres? Oh, yeah, they, they from the Dominican Republic. They speak... They're the Andres. They speak... Uh, <coughs> Spanish. Yeah, 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 not oh, Dominican. Oh, yeah. yeah. We speak, we yeah I'm starting really look alike as I'm doing this now. I'm starting to really see the situation. There's like 25% of our family who's from DR. Yeah, and they speak They're Spanish, brown, Spanish, 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 and English. Damn. Damn. Yeah, speak all three. Yo, you got to get your weight up, right? Yeah. I know. My daughter yeah. speaks Spanish. Creole and French and French. Yeah, don't let my dad. Full language. Care. When he come here, he stop. Her dad. Yeah. <laughs> that's how my dad is. Like he's suave, a ladies man. And he speak four yeah. different languages. Yeah. My dad is yeah. 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 hollering in sure. four languages. He <laughs> <laughs> way picking, taking notes like, all right. That's crazy. You feel me? So pops. That's one thing she gave him his password. Like he was very intelligent. Yeah. Nah, my 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 my. my. Um, father's side of the family pride themselves on that. Oh. Uh, you know what? It's, it's probably going to be in another two months or so. I'm going to be doing a debate. Okay. So, yeah, that, you'll obviously see a we'll promotion through the yeah. right channels. Right. 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 Yeah, I'm going to be dealing with all the other channels. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Right. Cool. You'll know, man. Good talk to you, King. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Man, it's good, man. Well, you know, we about to, about to shake, actually. I, I never really be planning to do these streams, but when I see them opportunities, I was like, man, this is a beautiful story. You know, I, you know me, I'm not with all the showing you we got rape, lynch, and cash trade. There's a bunch of people yeah. selling that and making a good profit off of that every day of the week. We need good black stories, black family stories, meeting each other's stories, and also, hopefully, let's not repeat these beautiful stories yeah. in this manner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's beautiful how it's turning out, but... The reality is everybody isn't as connected. Yeah. Obviously, we change the way we eat, yeah. we change the way we think. And look, look. So that's making our frequency higher for these opportunities. Cause look, look what brought everybody together. It's the youth. It's the youth yeah. who vibrating on higher frequencies, chasing after consciousness that plays the integral role on everybody being binded back to the family. It don't it don't be the people who made the errors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It'd be yeah. the it be the young folks who was looking for knowledge and saw the flyer on the floor for solar numerology, <laughs> joined the classes, sort of come to classes. Met her, her picture gets. She takes the picture of y'all, post it. Her mom and I sees only it. I've seen you through my mother because she would remember. She was yeah, because because her mom used to come to my oh, class. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, she, that, that's uh, another part of the story. I didn't know that part of the story. Of uh, true life tape Man, home. her mom's was so serious about how I was teaching that they used to spend the night in our store because we used. To, I used to teach for hours business. sometimes. I didn't know that. Yo, I used to another teach. Thing too. I used to teach for twenty four hours straight, dead I, ass in the store. I was wilding. Her moms would bring her, all her children, man. Yeah, she bought all of them. And they used to make, Wired. They used to make black Chinese food. And I was like, so long as y'all make that, y'all always got... Yeah, y'all don't know a lot of oh, shit. Y'all oh, better, better study your cousin. We need the recipe. I'm talking the the egg rolls, all that shit. We want we some need. black and knee food. Black <laughs> <laughs> don't be mad at me for my accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
they yo. Used to, so they used to make, and they used to have mad cats. Some shit with them with cats. They used wow. to have mad cats. That's, That's another. I'm not even allergic to cats no more because of them. What? I used to be allergic. Yo, I think crazy. my love got, for her. We got cats now. Crazy. It. Yo, we just we just got, got, grabbed some kittens. Don't tell, kittens from, uh, yeah. Don't tell her that. <laughs> Don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. Don't tell her that. Right? Oh, yeah. So yeah. we got cats, kittens for you now. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you now. it's it's just real crazy because you know um, I met them through I had a store on Utica between Bergen and St. Mark's 204B Utica between Bergen at. and St. Mark's yeah, know you know yeah. it's just off of Eastern Parkway like yeah, three or four blocks from yeah. Eastern Parkway right. like two, don't uh, forget uh, that you were having that went to Wingate and then a couple of years yeah. I went to Wingate it's high school it's crazy too. yeah we wow. both went to the same high school and Wingate? didn't know it though yep. our paths were constantly connecting so Aminette and I went to the same high school she went to but on our way out she was right in <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. That's wow. also true. Yeah. That's also true. Serendipity, baby. And so that you know, and then <laughs> she was going to a bookstore, right? I used to be like, she probably joined some cult or some shit. Because I was in school, I was like, she's always going somewhere. And you know, bring home these weird ass books. And, and, and let me let me add on. Let me add on. Her step now, mind you, you know, I came into the New Albion community, right? Yeah. Her step pots was part of it. Oh. As Ansar Ula. Yeah, when um, her, uh, the Ansar school, the Muslim school oh, that Doc had. That's yeah, how yeah. my mom met my stepfather because he was a part of the Ansar community, and um, we were Muslim. And then he gave us like new names. Just while I was, was Jessica before, and then he gave me Jamila. Mm. Yeah, I forgot you was Jamila. Yes, no, <laughs> no, I just remembered you was Jamila when I met you. Yeah. She always get renamed. I like you at my family house, nigga. Your ass is right. Hey, now. You better be careful with the arguments, I guess. You you was Jamila before I met you. Remember that? Yo, she dead ass was Jamila. And you know niggas don't be creative. Niggas be giving you the same name, different letters. It'll be the same letter to start the name on. But yeah, that's it. Like the same thing. Surprisingly. Surprising. That's how that the energy follows a person. But that's crazy because her step pops was part of the same community that I found myself in during a different school of thought. I came in during the Egyptian school, Kemeti school. Yeah. He was in there during the Muslim school. You know, then I'm starting to teach my classes, yeah. open up my bookstores. Yeah. Then her mom's was coming to the bookstore first, yeah. connected with her homegirls and everything and that was going to the bookstore. Like, That's then she was buying books and like, DVDs, this, a whole bunch. She kept staying little, longer and longer. This young guy who looks like <laughs> The information you was given, I was like, that's, yep. that's actually what made me. And then she started bringing she one daughter, then yeah. she brought another daughter, then she brought all her daughters. That's what made she got me sisters listen, to look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is what you got. There's Mosquita, yeah. Sophia, there's Nadra, <laughs> there's Hassana. And then I have two stepbrothers. That's not the DMX. It was song. a big ass. I have two stepbrothers. Hassana, <laughs> 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 Lamina. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when he was young, he was asking, I was wearing the shawls. Yeah, 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 they was Muslim. They was Muslim. Yeah, but that, that's, that, that's what my um my uncle told me. He was like, like, yo, by the time he tried to like get back, when after he found out where they was, he was like, yeah, yeah, Al Islam. He's like, yo, the mom told him, if you want to see us, you got to come meet us over here. And when he got the, to the over here, it was like a mosque. It was a mosque. And he's like, what the <laughs> I want my daughter, my wife back. <laughs> he walked in there, he's like, nah, I can't do this. He told me that, so I'm like, I already know. He was Probably like, that's... they wouldn't let him see us. Wow. Said. Who said that? He said... See, different story, right? Different story. He wouldn't let me see it. He said, he said, it he could have been who wouldn't let the mosque. And he seen that, he said, nah, nah. Yeah, so thank you. So, that's what he said. So, see the power in that. That I met her because I was able to convert her mom's. See the power in that. So, And then her daughter came. And, and, her and, mom's and, was coming it might first before I even knew any of them. But it's like your pops and your mom probably were just meant to come together to create you. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. The story to thing. take on this path. Yeah. It comes out full cipher. Of course. And then it's like now you're going to meet everyone back. Yeah, regardless. Like life is fucking yeah. crazy, yeah. son. Yeah. Like this shit is crazy for real. Some shit just be. And like then you with the. You, he saw a fly on the ground. Like that shit is crazy. Solar numerology. He just was getting into his astrology cool. bag. E-Boy begged me and Doc to come. That. Because E-Boy went to the first two. Um, to my soul numerology yeah, lecture. Yeah, he went to, to the first two. It was ones. hard trying to get these and guys. Like, oh, no. to the first two ones? No, he went to the first two. I did. Okay. And I, I tried to get them to come. Every time he comes. It was come, hard trying to get them conscious. I'm not going to lie. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm not going to lie. He was on that little way, way. 
Yeah. He was like, yo, these chicks is digging me. Yeah. Fuck you, niggas. He just, <laughs> he just grew his dress. This is a few years after the He just grew his dress, so he was I'm feeling himself. I swear to God, Lil Wayne, thank you, my brother. I'm feeling himself. And then look. He was Haitian Wayne. I see it, Wayne. I see it, Wayne. So E-Boy coming to the crib, and then mind you, E-Boy, every time he learns something, He's very talkative. Yeah, yeah, he's boy. Shit. Yeah, he can and he's definitely. He's long-winded, so he's breaking yeah, it down. He, he we, designed the teach, know, man. I'm not gonna lie. We smoking. We doing what we do. He's breaking it down, and then he's talking, and then I'm not gonna lie. The information sound intriguing, and then Ebo begged like, "Yo, what's good? What y'all doing today?" That's and what's then we up. We fucked e up by saying, "Oh, that's what's what up." We doing that today. Hey, he's like, "All right, so come." Yeah. Check them. Y'all busy. I'm coming. It was a Sunday. It was like, "Oh, it's Sunday. Nobody ain't doing nothing right now." He's like, "Yo, we going over there for." He said, "Yo, we going over there for one hour. Trust me, son." And what yeah, class was that? Huh? I forgot what class it was. That was a lecture. It was, yeah. it was um, either at Nicholas Brooklyn. No, no, it wasn't. It's a Sunday. It had to be Black Theater. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was at um, <coughs> um, 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 National Black Theater. It had to be if it's Sunday. No, no. It That's was, main it event day. National, it was National Black Theater. What was that shit on Utica? Utica? Nah, I didn't know y'all then for Utica. That big ass bookstore? No, it's not a bookstore. It's a big ass bookstore. was it Nicholas? Okay, hold on. Before I sound crazy, <laughs> let's stick with his story until you get your shit together. <laughs> let's stick with his version. What's that big concert hall you used to throw on? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. CPAC. 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 It might have been CPAC. Cultural Performing Arts. One of those big ass places. I know if it's Sunday, though, it was a big event. Yeah, Sunday is main event time. Sunday was main event. And then I seen the popcorn. That was the first event I put you It was one of those. I seen the. What was the subject matter? Oh, shit. That was that was when we and had. And he breaking um, out information. I'm like, I'm fucking. That was when you had. Um, what's his name? You brought somebody famous through. You know what I'm saying? Oh man. A comedian. A comedian. Yeah. Oh, Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. That's CPAC. That's right. Yeah. Paul Mooney. Yeah, that's like CPAC. Before I, I sound too crazy. Nah, you right. You right. It was. It was <laughs> It was at CPAC in Brooklyn. Yeah, in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, from from in Brooklyn. And I did yeah. more of the comedy, he did more of the lecture. Yeah. 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 And then that sold me. I'm like, oh, I fuck with it. And then he's like, yo, this nigga 20 something. I'm like, what? Bro, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga a few years ago. Yo, do that sound effect again. You feel me? I make crazy sound effects. When I laugh, it sound crazy. Get to it. How about that tax lien, tax Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Fast forward. People still love that track. They still pulling so that track. Be, you know what I'm saying? Inspired by the whole movement, right? So now, man. I'm, I'm, I'm learning all this information about tax lien, tax deed, right? So I bring it to my mans, right? Mind you, he's not even conscious. This is just At all. This he had not a conscious bone star. in his body. He had no conscious bone in his body. So now, boom. <laughs> Maybe I a five star because he was blood, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe conscious person. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? So now, boom. I bought one of those, I bought one of those um, um, DVDs to the crib. So he's watching that, right? So he's watching that, and I'm getting him hyped. I'm like, yeah, son, I'm about to start getting bread off this tax lien, tax D. I don't know what you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, yo, man, we about to start caking off of these houses. And, and Damn, that's how that song came. Off of these houses. I'm caking I wish off I could play that shit right now. Tax lien, tax, tax D. Tax D. Tax D. That shit was he hard. Yeah. It, you feel it, me? it was the... Um, Man, I was so proud when you made that song. Yeah, I felt so mad proud. I was like, yo, the brothers yeah, are making so music proud. after the knowledge. We starting some shit right now, Listen, man. We went to Philly, Chicago, DC, with all of it. Like, it was... And it was probably everywhere. Everybody yeah. was like, I Yeah, it's a very popular song you put out, man. You see, Spotify, iTunes, all that, that What's transition was just coming. Yeah, it was it a wasn't, title. It wasn't it really there. We was kind of in purgatory in that stage. Because if y'all, if you did that now, because people was... Always ask me, yo, how yeah. do we get that? How we get that? Real talk. I'm like, yo, man, niggas was downloading the YouTube <laughs> yeah. and editing it, stripping yeah. the audio. Niggas was bringing CDs, nigga, like, huh? Yeah, CDs was dissipating. Like, yo, I'm walking. I don't have no car. Like, yo, by the time I get home, I people really car. deal with that song, That's man. That, that shit, yeah. that was great for the culture, yeah. man. Yeah, I mean, Definitely. you know, it that was to bring it back. Purpose. It's a yeah. lot of new souls. We can bring it right back. Of course. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we working on the game plan right now to bring something out. You Listen, my brother's doing the music heavy right now. Wait for that. I'm doing. I'm, I'm. I'm a producer. I'm a film producer, and then I'm actually working on oh, yeah. a lot of. Um, well, you know, I'm. Huh? I'm managing artists, and you always. So you always. Go. Always. Oh, whenever you need something, brother. Edits, it's only a matter of time. Video editing or shooting, you, come get me. I got your man. TV. TV. Say less. Out great quality. I got. I got a. Content video I'm doing with the Lopes in in, in the Ville yeah, and in the nineties. Why was that about? The way that we were. Oh, just uniting them, and you know, I'm just helping them. 
put their careers off. Okay. You that's know, not, that's not even you yeah. know, they they doing good what they doing in the hood, make their videos. Yeah. But they they be making their videos and kind of talking against the rival set. Yeah. I just want to help them make it more marketable. Yeah. And get them out of the, the negative. Stop talking. Basically, get get Why them, you get behind them the camera. Takashi way. Takashi's done that's one. Smart. You feel me? As far as marketing. Get some yeah. mics. This is why I tell to all my all my conscious media people get you some quality microphones. Like people will watch shitty interviews, like the video be corny or crazy if the yeah, sound is crisp. Crazy. You feel me? Niggas don't give a fuck about the video. Facts. So get you some mics. Get that conscious money that you've been getting and invest in some quality mics. It costs a few hundred dollars, and once you get that, you can get some dope interviews. They want to know the name of the company again. Um, HumanityTV.tv is coming out soon. I'm launching out the website. Um, the, the show might they be actually links and website. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yo, I swear to you, I ain't lying. Right. They, they said, What's the name of the company? Listen, Someone else asked me. There's a link in the website. Yeah. Just so you know, I ain't listen. If that, for, as you, he's for, talking. You to, for you to stay updated, just follow Black me on, people don't play on that my shit. Instagram. Look at Socrates. What's your Instagram? Look at Socrates. Socrates, S O C R A T E S. Look, L O. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Look. Listen, sometimes. Hey, yeah, you know oh, what? Cause never know. A B L U K the way L -U -K, niggas. You feel yeah, me? Right, niggas right. be typing it, brother polite with an A at the end. <laughs> I, I had to. I'm like, yo, spell brother the right way. Pride, optimism, love, integrity, gallant, honesty, and trust. If you do video trust. editing then you do, um, and you shoot and you want to do, um, you want to um, create some content to push our narrative, black people, just conscious people narrative the way that we want to be shown. <laughs> Get at me, man. Look man. at Socrates on Instagram. If you want to and I'll tell you this. These brothers is always really? professional. They, always. They've been professional since day one. You know? And super talented, man. I mean, Both listen, these brothers are super talented, talented man. Ain't seen nothing yet, man. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah, man. Make sure they can find you, E-Boy. Yeah. Go um, to my Instagram. I am E-Boy. You feel me? Spell E-Boy for them. E-Boy. E-B-O-I. Energy based on intelligence. You already know. And um, stay tuned. I got um, a new music coming out in a couple of months. You can download that. You can download that. You can download the recent mixtape that's out for E-Boy right yeah. now. Where's it at? It's on um, SoundCloud. It's on, it's on SoundCloud. Dapif. Um, and it's on YouTube. You can you go to my, my Instagram. My man, E-Boy. E-B-O-I. Once you go to my Instagram, you're going to see the link. You feel me? Um, and your Instagram, one more time. Um, I am E-Boy. E-B-O-I. Energy based on intelligence. And um, I also <laughs> got a video. I also got a video up um, of my last single that I did with Coco Sarai. Coco Sarai is doing her thing right now. She just linked up with Dr. Dre. She's out in Cali. And I got a go single show her, love her right too, now. Show her some love. Yeah, wherever we got to go to find her, let them know that. This is the um, network Coco right Sarai. here. You, um, go Instagram, Coco Sarai. You know when this is done, it's 10. Just on the floor. Y'all yeah, definitely know floor. Coco Sarai. She's okay. just on the floor. C-O-C-O-A-S-A-R-A-I. Check out the Do it one more time. C-O-C-O-A-S-A-R-A-I. S A R A I, beautiful um, dark. They like your name. Yeah. Energy based and on intelligence. She that. has a <laughs> great sister said voice. that's dope. Soulful and voice. the brother Terry like, Tassan. It will move you as soon as you hear. It. Go check her out on Instagram right now, and go listen to her music on SoundCloud on all those. Also, Theophilus London. Oh yeah, check out my dude Theophilus that's London. Last person I'm gonna yeah, it's not a last, problem. Last it's not a problem. That's he what this is about. Dropped, um, baby, Never feel no way. Song B E B E Y Theophilus London. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna spell that for you, but but Theo, you'll Theo, play with it. Know the office, he works with Kanye West, but we all grew up together in the hip hop project. My um, under my mentor Chris Kazi Rowe, and then we now under my you know my mentor and my big bro brother Polite man. Go check out my man Divine Bradley. He's always thinking of doing some great things as well, man. Go no check doubt, out these man. people on Instagram, Divine Bradley. Chris Kazi Road and check us out in the state with Brother Polite. Slime. Supernova Slime, you already know. That's you already know. You daughter. already know. Go check Did you say daughter? With the super <laughs> mega green. <laughs> you said Queen of Four's daughter. Supernova Son? Son. Huh? Son. Huh? No, Queen of Four's son. Queen of Four's son. Yeah, yeah, you said daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you speed it. You speed it. Listen, Slow down, sweetie. <laughs> Supernova Slime, this is Queen of Four's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how you say it again? Yo, Hold up. Take me, I do hot. Listen. Yo. Yo, he about to make he about to make Nova bang again. Yeah, really? Listen, <laughs> shout out to Supernova, <laughs> Slow, Supernova. Queen of Force, son. 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 I'm getting tongue tied and twisted. I'm so high. He's probably just twisted. twisted. <laughs> Bro, what's up? Life is twisted. We're gonna have to tie you know? his tongue because he's twisted. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go check these people out, man. These are people that we came up under That's that right, shaped man. our mind frame. That actually led us to Brother Polite. No you know, doubt, you know, man. And to our, our story is wild. Cousin. You know, so our story, story is, wild. is wild, man. This is amazing. Serendipity at its, at its best. Man. It's crazy how we all just 
connected and it's inevitable yeah. it seems no matter what it would it had to happen it had to happen so that's why you know we're supposed to do bigger and greater things oh, other yeah. than meet each other and that's it yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> it. like now we now we met each other yeah, so why did the no, universe do this in the first place <laughs> yeah. because then we go our own ways now we're supposed to perpetuate it of course yeah. there's some kind of magic and energy there that obviously the universe wants to connect and that's that's with black people in general the more of us we connect with the more Potent we are because remember a group of cells become a tissue a group of tissues become an organ a group of organs becomes an organ system and the organ system precipitates the organism then the organism want to be an individual everything <laughs> came Ill. together for us to that get together Ill. you feel me so we all got to do this even even the fact that you here it was a one in seven million plus chance of you being here because yeah. you had the race against seven hundred seventy seven million seven hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven sperm yes. and you made it out of everybody you know amongst seven million plus niggas like That's you made it. it out of all of them you feel you what i'm saying so like that, what is yeah. the odds that you made it here you feel what i'm saying and then all the complexities that your moms could have went through emotionally that could have terminated you if she wasn't eating good food if she was under any kind of physical duress and then just in itself life comes with complexities she could have got hurt in the process my mom was told she would die if she gave birth to me and she took the risk to bring me in my pops wanted me aborted you see what i'm saying like same story <laughs> What's that? Story. Jesus. My father wanted my mother to abort me. Wow. Same See what I'm saying? And, we, and, and my pops is the nigga that I loved and I was hating my mom. So just, <laughs> yeah. I had to get my shit right. Like, <laughs> damn, <laughs> damn, dad, fuck you. <laughs> I gotta love mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. That's the funny, the funny thing about the situation. You always be like taking your pop side as a man for some reason. Yep. Very and, like, and the pops, we always be mom, like, yo, man, shit. I could have been a ball player. Yeah. 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 Your yeah. mom is the reason that you really your mom yeah. took the risk. She the took. Risk. She's ready to take whatever L to bring you here. No, I'm Ever you, L. That's just the same story. My mom. She said she had a dream, and in the dream, she realized that if she tried to abort me, she would lose her life as well. Wow. That's what she told me. And the doctors and told. My father had the same exact dream the same night. That's wow. crazy. And, and he told her don't do it. That's wild. You see, with well, mine's, my uh, my older sister Michelle. My pops have other sons. All their name is Michael. I don't know. You know, I had learned them niggas later on. Wow. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's another thing. That's crazy. I had seven brothers. That's a whole Michael, other conversation. Michael number two. <laughs> Michael number three. Michael Sav. Yeah, I, I was the only Michael he got to keep. He fought to keep me. Because oh, women was just, okay, you that, you a dub. You a dub. <laughs> so this oh, one, he that. was like, nah, I'm, keep, nah, I'm, I'm keeping, keeping this him. Michael. You know, he said he's going to make the best effort he can. And he fought to keep me, and he went through a lot. He really wanted me. So anyway, the fact of the matter is, even though he wanted me aboard it initially, niggas is up and down. You know how that goes. But he's like, yo, fuck, and I want him. I got him. At least he's going to be born. I want him now. You know what I'm saying? So what happened was my sister Michelle was born, and then they told my mom she could never have a child again. So, you know, I could assume that if I was told that my wife can't have a child, and I'm in my prime, I'm going to be having sex like a motherfucker. So that's probably what was going on. This is just my estimation. You know, tell a nigga that your wife can't have no babies no more. You're going to be plugging in all day in and out. You know what I'm saying? So I, they didn't tell me that. This is just my imagination. And then it's like, oh, shit. He was like, yo, one day he found out that she could have a child. And they was like, I thought I couldn't have a child. So they said, well, you know what? Now that you can, here's the shit about it. She could die. If she, if she gives birth to you, yo, so I'm like, yo, these fucking doctors, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is. It's like, who? Well, she got have a child. Yeah, but she gotta go if he come. So then, wow. you know, and then they said basically both of us would die. So, uh, what happens is, my mom's side of the family <clears throat> thought, cause my pops was hitting my mom's. He he did hit her. So. My mom's side of the family thought that he these called Austin. The yeah, these niggas in the 80s, in the man. 80s and <laughs> 70s, these 5% yeah. niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because this nigga was the nation of God of the Right? But anyway, uh, what happened was he really, at first he was just like, yo, you know, dub him because this shit's crazy. But he was looking in my better interest. That's why he wanted me aborted because he wanted my mom to stay alive. He didn't want her to take a risk. Yeah. That's why he wanted me aborted. So Initially, I was just told about the abortion part. Context, now I got context. Yeah, yeah, he wanted me out of here because he wanted to keep his wife. And he already had a Michelle here yeah. and six other fucking anonymous Michaels on these streets. So <laughs> enough is enough. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> let me tell the story, right? <laughs> he said, let Polite tell the story. <laughs> Yo, you Michael? <laughs> Yo, that's why my sister said she'll never have a relationship with nobody named Michael. Smart, <laughs> She like yo, she wants to know first and middle name because we know niggas. Niggas be going by their middle name and shit. That's up. So she's like, yo. Yo, you know me, I'm Andre. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so now what happened was he wanted me aborted because he wanted her to stay alive. Yeah. Her family thought that he was coercing her. Wow. Like on some some intimidation shit. Like you better have my son. Yeah. 
that wasn't the case. She was going against his will and she ran away. She went to military and all that. She ran away to have me and then came back when it was time for me to be born and then allowed him to have us and she ran off because there was a lot of stress with the family. So that's, that's how that shit all comes together where I'm like, all right, I can forgive my pops a little something. <laughs> now I'm mad at your ass for running away. So you know, my shit be in limbo, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then the universe, for whatever reason, allowed me to see her for seven days before she left again, when Jesus. I turned 17. So even though it, was hurt, it hurt me, the shit that shook my foundation was like, why seven days? It just seemed a little uh, mythological in a sense, you know? Yeah. It, it seemed a little like this was, I had to see her before she exited or some shit. So that's the only reason it didn't completely destroy me because I was yeah. almost destroyed. With the exception that I said that shit is eerie, that for some reason I met someone in enough time, waited three days before I saw her oh and had seven God. days straight. Cause I could have lost crazy. her with the weight. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I could have knew I had a chance and never met her. Cause I was like, yo, I don't know if I want to see her. And no one told me she was sick. I, when I saw her, I found out she was sick. Yeah, he probably wow. didn't want to tell you. Yeah, like that. I, so imagine meeting your mom for the first time, so you're 17 you years just, old, yeah. and you find out she's about to go, and you don't know when. You thinking, oh, she got cancer. She be here some years. We'll figure this shit out. Yeah. She's gone seven days. So I never got a chance to really tell her how I feel because, she, you know, I had to be there for her even though she wasn't there for me. Yes. And I had to struggle with when do I tell her. All of that within your you know what I'm saying? So I'm struggling with when do I tell her the shit that I'm upset about. Mm -hmm. and, and the more she tell me to make me feel better, I can tell she's not used to being a, a I'm not going to say a bad mom, but a mom out of touch. Because she's telling me when my birthday is. She even knew the neighborhood I was in. You know what I'm saying? So you, mean, she, 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 she could have saw me, you feel me? Yeah. And even when my pops left, when I was eight, this nigga was still living in the same hood. I didn't know. This is how weird niggas can be. So that's why I'm doing my best to not be a weird nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. as a that's parent, a, I'm yeah. doing everything in my fucking power to not yeah. be a weirdo. Yeah. Because these niggas did weird shit that, that fuck with me for my whole too. life into adulthood. Real that's talk. Crazy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and they think it's like, well, you know, I was just staying close to make sure you're all right. My nigga, I didn't know you was dead. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's, let me know you there. It'll feel better. It would be way different. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in prison. Nobody visiting me and shit. Only person visiting me is Aminette. So I took on the world. Like, man, fuck everybody. Yeah, that's, my, that's my, you, my grandmother died. She was my mama. That's how you My mother feel. died. Had her for seven days. My pop gone. I don't know where he's at. So the only person seeing me when I'm in prison and everything. She yeah. always visit me. She always wait for me to come home. The rock. All of that. You know, Aminette. <laughs> so at that point. I, I was like, if it wasn't for me, I would have had no respect for women and no nobody in, yo, I would have just been a black devil straight through, yeah, through and through. Because I, I ain't give a fuck about reason. human beings at all. Like, yeah. I was on some what? fuck people, like black, white, yeah. Spanish, Everybody? anyone, fuck yeah. everyone. Because I was just like, yo, life dealt me a fuck of a hand, yeah. fucked up car. You know what I'm saying? She the only one kept my, my preservation for my, my this and concept for that. loving other people and respecting women because she was dead. So I was like, and my grandmother, but you know, she died. But my grandmother was like my mom's, you know what I'm saying? Like always. And then all of us, almost all of us in my family is born on the first or the tenth. Yeah. <clears> so my pops is January first. My grandmother's May first. Got our aunt June first. Another aunt July first. I'm born August tenth. Like it's just some weird shit. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's mad weird. Everybody's always Everybody's on. on so I can guess every every month whenever the one hit the first of the month, I just know it's somebody's birthday. That I just, means, <laughs> that means your family was full of leaders. You know yeah, all number one know. frequencies, yeah. right? Yeah, it's crazy. So it's just wild, man. But at the end of the day, my mom risked her life to have me. You feel me? And then I got seven days to meet her. Why she made her own decision to have me? Exactly. Like. So, you know, and the thing is, she didn't tell me her story. My pops didn't tell me his story. And they never told me about each other's story. So I got it from everybody else, Yo, their parents. Amazing. So it wasn't biased. Because my, my mom wouldn't tell me nothing negative about my father. My father wouldn't tell me. He never, ever told me nothing bad about my moms, ever. But the problem is he never ever told me nothing about my mom <laughs> ever. So that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like nigga, tell me something wrong. Tell me, tell me something bad. You know what I'm saying? Like so, them, both of them never told me nothing at all about anybody. You feel me? So nothing good, nothing bad, nothing at all. So I had to get it from their mothers. So I got it from my mother's mother and my father's mother, and they gave me context. And then I got associated context from everyone else. And the stories were pretty consistent with yeah. everybody. You know, with the exception of the little dirty shit that my mama's side of the family did to my pops. You know what I'm saying? Because they accused him of one of the worst things you could accuse a nigga of just so he couldn't have me. They did everything. So when they found out that she still gave my pops to them, my mom gave me to my father. The, her side of the family just didn't give a fuck. So they did everything in their power. So that's something my grandmother on the other side don't know that I done found out from her side of the family and my pops side of the family. 
So it was corroborated, like, yo, your, you know, your grandmother was going hard. My grandmother did time in prison. She, she, she hurt. She, she they was locking up my grandfather. Yeah, get. They, they was locking up it's my grandfather. It's in the news. <laughs> this is on the Byron side of the family. It was locking up my grandmother. Oh, uh, they was locking up my grandfather for pumping deep. And my grandmother came in and busted at the judge. And that's why she got what? locked up. She was what? looking to save her man. So what? that that's the type of mentality I was going against my father. So wow. understand, my father had to be on, like, on she was side. going hard. This wasn't no like laid back mother. Bust this is one that had bust at the judge. So imagine the hell she was giving my father. That's where you get your intelligence from. You yeah, see what I'm saying? You get your intelligence from That's the what my father was dealing with. She was dealing. He, he was dealing with the type that a bust at a judge to save her husband. Man. You know what I'm saying? And now you got that person thinking that the, this this guy is intimidating the daughter to mm -hmm. give his child, give birth to his child, knowing her life could be gone. So you could only imagine how horrible Man, oh, and how harsh no, she's a not, banger you trying to manipulate my daughter you feel me yeah, and right. that side of my family they they go hard with the the hard world needless yeah. to say like they about that shit yeah. on my mom's side of the family they all about that shit you know what i'm saying reception my mom my mom seemed to be the one that was like the pure one out of everybody yeah. everybody else if, they, if it's in the streets that's what they do over there you know what i'm saying but the weird shit is that my uncle that found me He's the writer with a whole bunch of publications, magazines. It's like we do the same shit talent-wise. Wow. So it's so weird. And my, my uncle found me, actually, when we lost each other again. We separated. Yeah. The one that showed me my mom's. Yeah. He found me again because he was watching a debate and he went to school with somebody I debated, Malik Zul Shabazz. Oh, wow. wow. And That's he called crazy. Malik and got my contact and met me back again. Nigga, how you destroy somebody? <laughs> so you can't even you can't even shake niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like even if people separate, they come back again. So my uncle went to school with attorney Malik Zul Shabazz and he was like, yo, that young man gave it to you. That out he bust your ass. Yo, know, Malik talking his shit. And he's like, yo, you know that? That's my that's my nephew. So Malik was like, what the fuck? That's and you know, crazy. I spoke with Malik, then I got back with my uncle, who's What's my Malik? mom's brother. Right now? I don't know, I ain't hollered him in a while. But I'm just show you how weird this shit is. You know that I should wind up debating Malik, and then yeah, he went to yeah. school with Malik. That's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, attorney Malik Zulshabaz, my my mother's brother went to school with him. Wow. And crazy. I found out he had all these hip hop magazines, wrote for Hip Hop Weekly, and all these different people. Is press pass, wow. yeah. That's the, crazy. Puffy's uh, album covers and all sorts What's of shit. What's your uncle's name? Dennis Byron. Dennis Byron. Yeah. yeah. So he's he's man. he's there. He's he, celebrity publicist, all of that. You know what I'm saying? He gets it in. He do real. He, he on the level. You know what I'm saying? But it's just crazy how the world just yeah. keep like even when you separate, you get back. There's no way to shake yeah. people West when you, when you're part of the same yeah. bloodline. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like Yo, you, you just gotta from, um, take it in. AfricanAncestry.com. Yeah. I'm about to go do that. I just got put on to it. I think every black person should yeah, the, sure. with the way these niggas is making babies and not that. telling niggas yeah. who's who yeah. on planet Earth. When the way our situation just happened. Yo, I. You know, uh, GeneBase.com is dope too. GeneBase, yeah. it's located in Canada. Yeah, just tell them you want YAP DNA. Yap. Yap. Mito yeah, YAP and mitochondrial DNA. Okay. What's tell YAP? Them. That'll take you to your father's line. Okay, okay, okay. Your father's 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 father, and it's real specific, and then you get the mitochondrial DNA too. Jeez. Yeah. Plus. Yeah, I mean, man. We but, definitely need that, man. But this is real tough. Yep, let's get in it. But yeah, consultation, y'all know what it is. $200, $300 hour in person. I'm in Brooklyn. If y'all want to get up in person, we can make it happen. Uh, just email me. Put your full name, your phone number. We make it happen. Mentorship, same way. Send your full name, email, all of that. Full name and phone number. Never forget your phone number. Brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T-45 at gmail.com. These two brothers, man. Extremely proud of them. I'm glad, man, to see them. I'm so happy. That I got so, to man. give them a great visit, and I hope they turn up with me this weekend, some way or the know, other. Man. You know, you brothers are know. definitely invited. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know. No way around it, man. Family. But we got to be able to do that with each other too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So if you think he was tripping on the supernova talk, <laughs> once we get him a little more saucy, we don't know what he likely to say. Don't recall me tonight. Yeah, he, he might think I'm his damn sister or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he was definitely slipping. He was a broken record. He did that shit like three times. Yeah, like, he could not yeah, shake no, that shit. No, but yo, you know I do. Right? You know I do production, so I had to do three, three takes, man. Let me clean that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And mind you, I'll be tight when, when I'm doing an interview with somebody and do shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck? He did it again. He needs a publicist, you feel me? Yeah, like, somebody come to brief speak. him, you know what I'm saying, before he does anything on social media. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, good thing, I wasn't Supernova Smiles publicist. Oh, man. I'm to fuck this whole shit up just now. Go get them Super Mega Greens, though, man. Yeah, Super Mega Greens, real tough. Every day. Super yeah. Mega Greens, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Yo, when is that Afropunk? Somebody asked me all that. I be oh, seeing it. I be Afro-punk. always missing it. This, this weekend, yo, I'm mad stuff weekend be going on. I just realized today? I'm here during Labor Day week. Oh, yeah, so yeah, oh, this week, nah, that's next weekend. Yeah, I just realized wait, wait, I'm like out here during that oh, week, yeah, yeah. so I'm staying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta do that. Yo, listen, I ain't been in Labor Day in mad long. Me too, I'm gonna tell you I guys that two years. When the world, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't. <laughs> wait, what? Dude, shit, so you would be off the chain. I know, right? I had to cut mine, so they had. Don't worry, she gonna be natural tonight, y'all. She gonna be natural tonight. Yeah, this is still natural. I know, but I know they seeing it straight. They don't understand. Yo. They don't understand. You just took it. For, for the curl fest. Yeah. They don't understand. She took her hair out so she can get. So she can come show that it's afro. Press, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They she, know that. She just, nah, they don't know that. Trust me when I tell you. Oh, oh wow. Oh, so they be attack all. Oh, yeah, they, they attack black. Like, like, they attack you. Oh, what's she doing with perm hair? Oh, he just showed it. Yo, I don't mind. Y'all could do group consultations. It don't matter if y'all get yourselves together. I'm ready. I'm in the hood. I'm out here. So here. it's up to you. Just send the Yo, phone number. We may have it. That's how. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that picture. Hold yeah. on. Let's let's take a look at that picture. Let's, that picture is fire. Look at that. That's fire right there. <laughs> but yeah, she she took her protective hair out because you know women be having protective styles. Yep. You, I, I know my shit now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I used, I used to be on the yeah, other I side. Had to, I yeah. had to tell him because she's doing that. Yo, I'm like, yo, I'm a black. Yo, I'm like this. Yo, I hold. seen it. Oh yeah, I seen yeah, it. Yeah, she had those. Yeah, okay, okay. What? Well, you might as well do the okay. phone locks too. I did that before. Yeah, so yeah, look, look, look. this okay, nigga know his shit too. So <laughs> this, uh, this is what I'm saying. I used to be like, yo, you know, I, I got caught yo, with I, I'm like, yo, I gotta what learn, is this? I'm on, this is nice. I'm like, on yo, my shit. Phone locks. I'm like, yo, I'm pro black teacher. I'm mm-hmm. out on these streets and you niggas are straightening up your hair and putting the weave in this motherfucker. And the people is asking me questions and shit. Yeah. I gotta get them niggas answers. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what are y'all trying to do? Destroy it's my shit? Straight. I'm looking like a hypocrite and shit. They're like, yo, these are protective hairstyles. First of all, you want me picking my hair all the time? Yes, like, all my hair is in the pick, nigga. You gonna be bald headed. Yes. We gonna be Wakanda niggas after a while. So I'm like, all right, I started getting this shit. You really have to like, sit him down and explain, like, yo, we cannot be having our pick on here every single day. <laughs> <laughs> so I started thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? That shit makes sense. That shit makes sense. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. So then, I like, I, and then, and then when you wait and you allow it to grow, and then they they clip yeah, it a little see, bit. I that see. shit looks so buoyant and amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how my um, like my baby mom's here. I love like, it natural, yeah, you man. But you gotta give it a chance to grow. You know what I'm saying? So. So you heard you heard black men? Yeah, y'all gotta understand what it is. Let your women. Let your women. We're protecting we hairstyles. You see tipsy for real. <laughs> <laughs> this thing probably got everybody laughing. <laughs> yo. Uh, yo. This thing is mad funny. Yo, man. Talk that shit. This, that, this, Talk that shit. this is the age where you let your women decide. <laughs> That they're gonna be wearing their protective styles and they're doing so, what they gotta do. That's with right. Head. That's what it's called. You know, exactly. We, yeah. Thanks, Lil We gotta exalt. <laughs> <laughs> Young Moolah, <laughs> baby. Moolah, baby. Thank you. Yo, this ain't even his best Lil Wayne disposition. He, <laughs> really this is him just. This is him just doing him. But if he really wanted to be on that shit, one day. I said, oh shit, this nigga came to my class. I knew I was starting to come up. It took me like 30 minutes before I realized it was just this nigga. I was like, I said, yo, my shit is really changing when motherfucker come and sit in class. He had the gear on, you know, his pants were sagging, dope ass celebrity belt on. Oh, you couldn't tell this nigga shit. I just knew Wayne sat in this motherfucking class. And I was like, yeah, them niggas is always shorter than you think. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. Yo, I'm going to tell you how this happened, too. I did not know anything about it. I look like Lil Wayne until, like, a few females I start chilling with, like, when I really go and hang out with them in their house and stuff. Like, this one female, I went to go hang out with her crib, and as soon as I opened the door and we chilling, I start realizing most of the posters, because, you know, this is, like, in, like, the late 2000s when yeah, they, yeah. people were still doing the things, like, the 90s. They had posters of magazines. Oh, yeah, of, yeah, of their on their wall and shit. So most of the posters that was on the wall was Lil Wayne, and I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, she loves Lil Wayne. Like, oh, and does she love me, nigga? <laughs> and then I'm like, yo, what do you call it? 
I'm talking to her and she's like, yo, I'm like, yo, you know, like, you like Lil Wayne? She's like, yeah, I like Lil Wayne. And then she, throughout the conversation, she's like, yo, you know what? You know you look like Lil Wayne. I'm like, nah, I don't like Lil Wayne. Cause this, you know, it's my first time here. I'm like, hell, I don't like Lil Wayne. She's like, yeah, you look like Lil Wayne. Look, look at this picture. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I call every chick I was dealing with. I'm like, yo, do I look like Lil Wayne? They're like, yeah. And one of them said, why do you think I, I was talking to you? <laughs> oh. So at that yeah, point, I at that point, at, Wayne at that point, that. you could have said, at that point, you realize you gotta say, fuck the system or be part of it. <laughs> I realize. When that lollipop song came out, it was a oh, you could catch right. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, evil. Yo, he's bad evil. He, he caught wreck. He's like, maybe, maybe this shit got his perks. Maybe. Okay. He's like, I'm gonna go with this shit. Yo. Maybe I can see what they see. <laughs> Yo, I'll tell you. He was in his bag one of those years, though. But I'm glad. One of those years, he was in his damn bag. I was like, yo, can't no one tell me shit. I was like, he looked more like Wayne than Wayne looked like Wayne. But if Wayne ain't looking like himself, this nigga was looking like Wayne better. Please help me out. I don't look like you come out and say. I mean, if that nigga ever did movies, you could have been his double. Yeah, he wildin'. Wayne. You remind us of the good times. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I yo, the yo, we gotta get out of here. Yo, I can hang out with these brothers yeah, all and day, and man. Wow, we ain't seen them like three years, so this is all love. Yo, so I can hang out with them all day. Two years, two and a half, something like that. Damn, that. they dangerous. This is that Brooklyn conversation for hours. Man. Man. See y'all, man. Love. I love you, brother, so love much. Love you too. Oh Courage to oh, everything, man. Take care. Love you, man. Yo, get when this guy and Devon Bradley links up, the it's world a is going to shake. You heard? It's a rap. When you this guy me? and Divine Bradley links up, the world's gonna shake. I mean, my, my words. And whoever knows Divine Bradley and know this guy, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. You facts, facts. Let's get but it yeah, in. This is gonna be a crazy year. <coughs> man. Can't wait. See y'all later. Oh yeah, she in Cali. Renette's at Hollywood as hell. <clears throat> My daughter ain't leaving California for nobody right now. Well, I'll see y'all later, man. Until the next pull up. I gotta start getting ready for my clubbing and everything today. I'm glad y'all got a chance to share in with some of this energy. But yeah, if y'all wanna party club with me tonight, like I said, I mean, shit, we the celebrities out here, but you know, I got the people you like, whether they box or they play ball or they rap, we gonna be in the building. So come check me. You know, I gotta do it like this because it's already gonna be a packed ass line when we do these events. So just yell at me. We gonna get it in. Send your full name, your phone number, your picture, and let's link up, man. I'm, I'm here, it's, it's on me too. So y'all ain't gotta worry about paying for nothing. All you gotta do is pull up. If you willing to do a little travel or come around your block or corner or whatever, Y'all good. Y'all definitely good. Compliments to Brother Polite. We're going to have fun tonight and tomorrow and the day after. We lit the whole week. Yeah, even Monday. We lit the whole week. <laughs> Had come back looking like young new me. <laughs> have a good time with my family over here. Peace and blessings to you all. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all. We in Brooklyn, Flatbush. You know, we're going to get back into Brownsville later in the week and do what we got to do. Shout out to my homie Schmuller, man. He's a good brother, man. He got a lot of potential, man. So shout out to the cuz, man. And, it's, and the whole 8 through straight family, everybody that's over there. Shout out to all you brothers. I wish y'all the best. I want y'all to progress. I want you to get into the knowledge. Read these books. Do some investing. Get into your spirituality. That's important. Shout out to the homies in, in, in the 90s. GS9, shout out to you brothers. Love y'all. You know I'm 90s born official. Then moved into the Ville. But I love all you brothers, man. This, you know, I know the culture and I know so much is taking place that you got to do what you got to do. But study as hard and as fast as you can. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm not going to tell you, brother, stop what you're doing. I'm going to tell you, brother, start doing something in addition to what you're doing. And one will take over the other. If you confide in this information, things going to change, man. Word to everything I love. If you confide in this information, things will change. That's a fact. You brothers, you brothers could do a whole lot more better. You know, amongst each other. Y'all could really take each other to higher levels, food-wise, raise your frequency. You eat different food, you'll start seeing the world differently and having different ambitions and different goals. But you just need to be around people who have a different conversation because with the right conversation, you'll be ambitious to change direction. 
But I'll never tell somebody to change their direction. I t I'll tell someone the information, and that information will empower you with the intention to change direction. Facts, man. But you know, <clears throat> I'm going to be all over Brooklyn throughout the whole week showing love. But yesterday we made those 90s runs and Brownsville runs because those are very important. But yeah, we getting it. Peace. You know, shout out. Rest in power to my homie Mook Mula. Y'all know what it is. Very powerful brother. We lost a true soldier. Very, very, very good brother, man. Very good brother. So salute to the cuz. I know you and them blue skies living life, man. You know what I'm saying? I know all y'all go to heaven is a fact. So you know you're gonna be alright, my brother. Cause we're not gonna let you leave here in vain. We're gonna keep showing love and we're gonna contribute to the community and progress in your name, my brother. As well as everybody else, all the other fallen soldiers. But shout out and rest in power to Mook Mula. We love you, 90s own. You know, the nine ounce very own. Free to nine, y'all know what it is. It's just good to be back home. I love out here, man. I love Brooklyn. <laughs> Love Brooklyn, man. It's so hard to get to Harlem because I love Brooklyn so much. But I, I got to make my Harlem runs, too. Sometime this week, do a little outdoor debate. Pull up on Tazari or somebody. <laughs> but, yeah. But this concludes our Flatbush segment. You know, I don't want to get off, but I got to really... I need to be getting off and going and whipping and running and running. That's what I need to be doing. I need to get some stuff going. I need to change my clothes. Sisters got to do their hair. But checking out the family members, like I said, man, we found out they related to my wife. And we found this out on the strength of them coming to classes. If there was no class, and then we just flashed back and remember, I converted my wife's moms to the knowledge. And that's how I wound up getting with her daughter over time. After a good almost year of them coming to class, because first it was her moms, Ryette's moms, and then after her moms kept coming, then she kept bringing her daughter, another daughter, another daughter, another daughter. She's bringing all her daughters. And I think that was real powerful. And then Ryette and I got together. Ryette's my first wife. We always call her my first wife because she's the first wife that came into polygyny. I was already with Aminette, but we call Ryette our first wife because it made polygyny official when Ryette came in. <coughs> so, and Ryette's still been with me to this day. As old as my daughter is, is as old as Ryette and our relationship is, plus two months. Because Ryette came in two months prior to Matt being born. So while my wife was conceiving, I picked up another wife. So you know it's real when that happens. I mean, how many women gonna allow another woman into the family while they're conceiving? Two months before expected date. You know I got the sauce, but that's because we really was, you know, this was a strategy employed by not just myself, but also Aminette. So we not polygynous just because I want other women. So it's very powerful, we on it. This is a very powerful situation. What's up, baby? I know. Now you want to be on your time. You don't went to every store in the damn community. You went to every store in the community. Okay. Humble. Okay. But yeah, I'm leaving now. All right, baby. I'm closing out. Thank you. Yeah, family. So, yep. This concludes our session. Thank you very much. Love you so much. Love you so much. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> Thank you very kindly. I hope y'all enjoyed this session. This is a real dope session. Anytime I be in Brooklyn, y'all feel a different energy when we have those conversations. Make sure you check out the one that I did with my pops sitting on the step. And uh, here's another thing. My daughter's with my pops. I never left her with nobody other than us. So this is the first time. So it's weird. I'm constantly calling her. My daughter, since she's been born, she's always been with the moms or me all the time. But now I let her go by grandpa. He respect our food rules and everything. So it's mad funny because I said, instead of writing all the things she don't eat, let me just write to you the things she does because we're going to be here forever. So, you know, I had to run, get some Kalu and green banana and drop it off to her just to make sure she has what she need. But he said he got it. He's going to make all the runs. I'm like, man, you ain't do all this extra stuff for me. So something about grandparents skipping over their own children and going super hard for their children's children. Because, I mean, gave her $100 right on the spot. I'm like, yo, Pop, you would normally need him bread, a little hand. And now you see your granddaughter, he got bags of quarters, nickels, and dimes for her. Man, my ad is playing this little girl thing. My ad is very mature. She's playing this little baby girl situation out to a T with her grandparents. Everyone's playing the game here. I'm watching it, but I love it. I feel I feel good that I could give her to somebody in her family and let her do her thing. And then I'm going to give her over to my sister. I never did that before, which is her aunt. I, this is pretty cool. I'm not used to none of this. I just, I came up myself. I do what I do. And, you know, separating myself from family members because I had to for what it was worth but right now I feel very good that I can send her to somebody so I'm glad that my daughter can do her grandpa thing I think that's so cool and I'm gonna have her do her auntie thing 
So I'm real happy for her, man. I'm glad I brought her here with me while I travel. The whole family out. So all, yeah, when we club, all my wives gonna be there, and my the women I'm courting and my supporters, my advocates, and y'all. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. We litty. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all so much. You know I'm excessive. I'm over the top. I say all that extra shit. <laughs> I just be talking. But uh, I love y'all. Let's get it in. Can't say I love you enough. And I will be getting as much as Haitian mangoes as possible next to my Kyle and green banana. What you talking about? <laughs> love. Look at this, man. We having so much fun. Look at them having so much fun. <laughs> that means you're about to slap the shit out of you. She do this, you alright. Now I'm saying you just a little trouble. But she do this all the way. Run for your life. You bent all the way over here. Yeah, mind you, every night just gave us a face just now. Yo, hurt my soul just now. Like, yo, you, my dad's a Capricorn. <laughs> Don't want to be a Capricorn no more, alright? <laughs> <laughs>